Good afternoon. My name is Sarah Morissette. I'm the assistant chair of guidance and college counseling here at St. Peter's Prep uh, in Jersey City, and I'm a proud NJACAC member. I'm so excited to be here with the team from Kane University. And uh, before we do that, we just want to give you a little insight, some housekeeping thoughts. Uh, we appreciate you being here today. Afterwards, you're going to have, um, I'm so sorry. There we go. Um, welcome to our virtual college exploration. Um, a few thoughts. Please use the Q&A uh, button and box to type any questions you might have. Your camera and microphone are off. Um, and this is so the panelists can't see or hear you. Um, so that's why we want to use the Q&A button. Uh, please sign up for more sessions at njacac.org. We have so many great uh, schools providing wonderful content for you at this time. And a recording will be available so all sessions can also be found um, at that website. Thank you again for being here. I'm going to pass it over to Greg and the team from Kane. Awesome. Thank you. Share a screen up here. All right. So welcome everyone. Um, this is King University. Um, my name is Greg Benedict. I'm one of the managing assistant directors from the Office of Admissions. I am also a two-time alumni from Kane. I did my bachelor's here in history and my master's in public administration. I predominantly work with students from Middlesex, Monmouth, Camden counties in New Jersey. And I also am the liaison for all the athletic programs and their recruitment efforts, as well as our Michael Graves College of Architecture and Design. Sasha, if you want to introduce yourself. Perfect. Thanks, Greg. Um, my name is Sasha Rashid. I am the other managing assistant director. Um, I primarily recruit students from Bergen County. So if any of you guys live in Bergen County, I will be the person um, reading your application, as well as Hunterdon, Sussex, and Warren counties, um, a few out-of-state counties as well. And I am the liaison for our College of Education. So if we have any future teachers in the room, feel free to ask questions, um, and I'd be happy to answer them for you. And we'll turn it over to Annie. Uh, our student ambassador so she can introduce herself. Thanks guys. Um, hi guys, my name is Annie. I'm a student ambassador, so I work hand in hand with the Office of Admissions. I am an English and special ed education major. I also live on campus, so I do have a lot of knowledge about resident life, and I hope you guys have any questions. Great, thank you. Uh, we're gonna jump into a quick video about the student life. Please follow us on social media platforms. Go to Kane um, is the prospective student page where you can find more information from current students, your programs, visit opportunities. And also we have uh, handles on all the main social media platforms as well. 
Um, and again, welcome to our information session. We'll also provide a virtual tour at the end. Um, but we're going to talk a lot about Kane. We're going to talk about the past, the present, and the future um, with the university. And our campus was uh, developed in 1855, but it has constantly been growing ever since, and more recently, rapidly in the last 10 years. Um, we've added a lot of new buildings, academic buildings. We've added new restaurants. We've added new residence halls. Um, so it's really become a very uh, nice, modern feeling campus with a lot of accessibility for our students all across the Tri-State area and globally. Um, we also have uh, some new buildings that I wanna highlight here first. Um, we have about 50 undergraduate programs to choose from, over 60 graduate programs to choose from, and around 15,000 students on campus, uh, just to give you a perspective. But we keep a small classroom size, around 21 to one student teacher ratio. Um, in the top right is our first building I'm gonna highlight. This is our Liberty Hall Academic Center. And this is our first um, state's public uh, center for history. And we'll, our students will be able to not only learn in the, classrooms, uh, set, um, the classroom setting, but also archive different resources that we find within our Liberty Hall Museum, which is right next door. Um, that is the ancestral uh, home to the Kane family and also the first home to William Livingston, the first governor of New Jersey. Um, so we have a lot of history on our campus but uh, we have now the center to provide a lot more resources to the community and the, and the students as well. Uh, in the bottom right is our North Ave Academic Building. This holds more uh, programs for our Hennings Mathematics Science Technology programs, our doctorate programs in occupational and physical therapy, as well as our nursing programs. Um, but beautiful facility, a lot of resources and uh, labs that are in this building and that are used for internship spaces as well. Um, in the bottom left is our East Campus. This is home to our Nathan Wise Graduate College, but also home to our psychology programs, as well as our speech, language, and hearing programs, and other occupational therapy uh, centers as well. In the top left is our newest building uh, that's open to students now is our Heinz Hall. This is our, for our College of Business and Public Management. This has programs not only in general business, but to global business, um, human resource management, supply chain management. Um, we also have sports management. We also within this building have a Bloomberg room with uh, business technology as well as a virtual library. Uh, so great resources for the students to use. Um, middle right is our STEM labs. Uh, we have a great STEM facility with uh, a lot of five-year programs uh, between biomedicine, uh, uh, computational science and engineering. Uh, we have five-year programs for education in mathematics, biology, and chemistry. Um, but we really have a great feature with the Research First Initiative, which allows students to get internships as early as their freshman year within a real-life biotech company that's in our STEM building. So you're really walking down the classroom from your class to your internship in the same place, and it's real-life research. Uh, bottom middle is our Michael Graves College of Design and Architectural Studio spaces within the Green Lane building. Um, these studio spaces are uniquely placed and designed to look like professional studio spaces for students from freshman to senior year. So you'll be able to work creatively and working with other programs, such as if you're an architecture major, you can be working with interior design major students, developing unique portfolios and getting internships all within the same place. And then middle left is our, going to be our newest feature. It's not open yet, um, but it's an extension of our Hennings Hall and science building with more math labs and science labs as well. And then our foundation, King University founded a, as a teacher's college. We're still one of the top producers of teachers within the state. Um, we are also the only school to have three consecutive state teachers of the year, ranges from early childhood through secondary ed. I mentioned the five-year options that are there as well. Internships are built into your program starting within sophomore year to senior year. Um, and you can also be a teacher of students with disabilities with any content focus. So a lot of programs and a lot of new features and spaces for students. We've also grown outside of the main campus. Uh, we are in Union, New Jersey. This is where our main campus is located, but we've added a couple other spaces to learn uh, within New Jersey, online, as well as in China. Um, first, I want to talk about the School of Online Education, and this is big, obviously, because of the setting that we're in with the pandemic. Um, but our School of Online Learning was developed about five years ago, and we still have four-year programs for undergraduate degrees, as well as master's degree programs that are offered completely online for the working student. Um, but with COVID-19, we were able to transition all of our on-campus courses easily into our Blackboard platform, uh, platform 
to make all of our remote learning easy for faculty and students to navigate. Um, and currently we're still in that setting. We are operating in a remote uh, learning space as well as having some hybrid options and on-campus options uh, for a short period of time within the semester. But it was easy for us to adapt during the uh, COVID-19 pandemic and still being able to connect with your faculty and, and peers. We also have a partnership with Ocean County College. This is a little bit older. We've had this partnership over 10 years now with them. But Kane Ocean is an opportunity for students to learn um, if you wanted to go for your associate's degree at Ocean County College, you could stay and complete your bachelor's in an additional two years. If you were a student that was going to the Union campus, you can take a semester to study down by the shore as well and take some classes that will count towards your program at that campus site. Um, it doesn't have residence halls, so you would have to commute there, but it is a great opportunity to learn in a different environment. Speaking of new environments, this is a, our newest campus. This is called Kane Skylands. It's in Jefferson Township. And obviously it's a learning naturally environment. As you can see the wilderness there, the reservoir. Um, it's an opportunity for a lot of research, but it's also an opportunity for those business, uh, psychology, criminal justice majors, education majors to get out of the traditional setting and learn in a freer environment. Um, if you can look at that picture, you'll see a bridge that connects the campus together. That's actually set at the tops of the trees. So you'll be walking across campus above it all looking around and seeing the entire landscape which is really nice and we also have a building called the uh, treehouse that has glass facing windows as well as a lecture style classroom outside so it's a really unique campus um, that's fairly new as well and students will be able to learn it in a really nice environment Wenjiao king university uh, traditionally it's a great global opportunity for our students right now we're not really sending anyone there uh, it is operating as we do have students that live in china that are going to school there but um, our campus there is unique to study abroad. We have about 30 different options for students to study around the world. Um, but this campus is unique because we're the only public school in the country to have this partnership with Wenjiao Kane University. It's a Kane campus. So it's the same tuition and fees to go there as it is in Union, New Jersey. It's all English-based courses and all of your classes will count towards your program. So you'll continue to graduate on time. We also have scholarships in place to pay for your travel as well as excursions while you're there. And the best part is you can get global internships that will set you apart from any competitor uh, in your field. And most of our programs have our, our, their actual major-based courses offered. If not, we'll have general ed courses there. So you'll, all of your uh, credits will count towards your program while you're uh, taking a semester there. All right, at this time, I'm gonna pass it over to Annie. She's gonna talk about student life. Uh, Annie, if you wanna take over from here. Um, hi guys, so like I said, I'm a resident on campus and I'm also a sophomore. So um, my freshman year, I was really involved on campus. I knew when I went to college, wherever I was gonna go, I wanted to get involved. And that's exactly what I did here at Kane. Uh, so we have about 170 organizations, but that is always constantly growing. Um, we have clubs that are based off your major, based off interests, um, and you can actually start your own club and it's really simple to do here at Kane. Uh, we also have 33 for sororities and fraternities. Um, so those are like organizations that go across colleges. Uh, they're usually split with boys and girls. Um, but they're really great ways to get to know people, especially if you have the same common interests. Uh, we're also a division three school. We have 14 varsity teams. Uh, teams range from, we have girls swimming, boys, girls soccer, basketball, football, um, all of those. Um, another great thing about Kane is that we offer job opportunities for students who are interested in. Um, I knew when I came to Kane, I wanted a job right away and there were so many lined up for me because I knew I wanted to make money. Um, so living on campus, like I said, I am a resident. Um, right here, this picture is actually Cougar Hall. It opened up in fall 2018 and it's one of our newest freshman halls. It is an absolutely stunning building, but I can say that all of our buildings are really great and really homey. Um, so our freshman residence dorms, um, they have 24 hour computer labs. There's on-site laundry services, so you don't need any coins. Um, all of the residence halls have a lot of areas to study in or to spend time with other people. For example, we have a community kitchen, which you can use at any time, as well as like little screening and gaming rooms. Uh, we also offer access tutoring where a tutor can come straight into the dorm so you don't even have to go to the library or anything for that. Uh, so I love living at Kane. Of course, during a pandemic is a little different, um, but at the end of the day, it's extremely homey here and I can't imagine being anywhere else. 
Um, so dining on campus, so we have a lot of options here at Kane. Not only do we have our own little kitchen areas in our dorms where we can cook, um, but we have dining halls that have places like you can see here, like Jersey Mike's and Auntie Anne's, places you can find anywhere. We also have our very own Cougar's Den, which is like our own little cafe. And then one of my new favorite places is Bamboo, which serves fresh sushi. We also have three Starbucks on campus, which I utilize a lot. Um, fun fact, we are actually have the second largest Starbucks on a campus on the East Coast. So if you have any questions about living on campus or getting involved, um, I would love to help. Thanks, Annie. Thanks, Sorry. Annie. So we are gonna go into uh, the steps to apply and enroll to Kane. So first and foremost, as an incoming freshman to Kane, you are going to want to apply online. Um, and because you joined us today, we are giving you this freebie fee waiver code. Um, so be sure to take a screenshot or quick picture of this screen. It only works on the Kane application. So you will need to use it at apply.kane.edu but it gives you a complete freebie so you don't have to pay. Um, we have become test optional. Um, so we are um, a test optional school. So first and foremost, we will need your official high school transcripts from your high school. Um, and we can work with your counselors to get those, whether you're learning remote or hybrid, um, it doesn't matter, we'll work with you to get those. Uh, but if you do have SAT or ACT scores, we will of course accept those. Um, and we encourage you to send those in. Uh, but again, if you don't have them, the only thing you really truly need is your official high school transcript. Uh, certain programs programs will have some additional requirements. Um, that's going to be programs like architecture, interior design, um, graphic design, fine arts, theater, and music. Uh, they will require a portfolio um, or a, uh, an audition. So to secure your spot, once you've been admitted, and we do encourage you to apply early, um, we'll talk about scholarships in just a bit, um, and there are some additional scholarships, so there is an, an additional scholarship if you do apply before January 1st. You're going to want to secure your spot, you'll apply for financial aid, and of course you'll receive some advising, and we'll get you registered for classes so that you will be all set for fall 2021 financial aid and scholarship. So this is always a biggie. And when we talk about financial aid, we're really talking about three different things. We're talking about grants and scholarships. So that's free money. That's money that you do not have to pay back. Then we've got our work study. So that's gonna be earned money where you're gonna get a paycheck. You can choose to spend that money on things like room and board or books, but you can also use it for gas money in your car or whatever else it is that you may need. And last but not least, there is borrowed money. This is money that you're gonna to have to pay back often with interest. So we want that amount to be as low as possible. And the first step to getting any financial aid is of course to complete the FAFSA. Um, if you haven't already, you'll wanna go on there, create an account. It is already open. It opened uh, last week, October 1st. Um, you'll wanna indicate Kane. Once you receive an acceptance letter to Kane, uh, that will trigger the financial aid process. So you will need to be admitted to Kane before we process a financial aid package. And we will of course need a complete FAFSA on file to do so. Greg, you wanna talk a little bit about scholarships? Yeah, so scholarships are big for us as well. Um, as we are going to talk about moving through this process, Kane is really prideful on the fact that we are one of the lowest uh, cost efficient schools within the state, most affordable schools within the state. And we have done so by being also very uh, offering with our scholarships. We have merit scholarships, foundation scholarships, housing scholarships, and some of them are new. Uh, we have new financial need-based scholarships that are also uh, there to assist not only low-income families, but also those affected by COVID. Um, our merit scholarship structure is adjusting. As Sasha mentioned, we are going to a test optional platform. So our scholarships, our merit-based scholarships will reflect that. Foundation scholarships, that application is separate and it is open as well. It opened up October 1st. That puts you in a pool of over 300 different scholarships outside of your application uh, requirements. So that's going to look at pieces such as your major, if you live on campus or not, your background, your involvement, um, and you can be stacked those with those merit scholarships um, that you could potentially get from your application. Um, the early action deadline is also one to look out for. If you apply and are accepted before January 1st, you also will receive an additional 500 bucks just for applying. Um, looking at our scholarship structure here, 
um, you'll see the, the level of scholarships that we offer going from $1,000 a year for all four years up to full and state tuition and fees. These are the type of scholarships that you wanna get because they are the ones that stay with you throughout your entire four years in your undergraduate career at Kane. Um, so it's not just a one-time award besides the early action. Um, the Platinum and Gold Centennial Awards, those are our financial need-based scholarships. Um, so those are the ones that will take into consideration for the FAFSA. So Sasha and I wanna highly encourage submitting that. I know that the loan piece um, is one that a lot of people think is just financial aid, but at Kane, we look at specifically that FAFSA application to determine additional aid that we create just for Kane students. So that's grants and that's also scholarships. And then the Livingston Scholarship, that's our full and state tuition and fees. That stays with the amount of the uh, full and state tuition cost each year, even if it adjusts or changes. So you'll always have the full and state tuition and fees covered. I mentioned the residency scholarship. This is for any student that's out of state. Um, if you're an out of state student that has at least a 3.0 GPA um, and you are looking to live on campus, you will receive an additional stackable $4,000 each year you live on campus with uh, any of those merit scholarships that you qualify for uh, just for living on campus. So that kind of puts you back into our in-state uh, price range uh, when we talk about tuition and fees. Um, we talked about being the most affordable. We try to be the most affordable for any student coming to Kane. Uh, right now, our tuition is uh, the lowest within the state. It's around $12,500 a year for in-state students. If you're going to be living on campus with a meal plan, it's around $25,000 a year. Out-of-state students, it's around $30,000 uh, to $32,000, depending on where you live. But that out-of-state scholarship, if you qualify for it, puts you right back into that $25,000 to $27,000 range that an in-state student would pay as well. Uh, so we're really proud of that. We, our students, our alumni graduate with 32% less debt than the national average, and we try to keep it there. We want to make sure that your education is affordable and that you're not uh, embarking on something that's unobtainably uh, there to complete and pay off if you need to. And we always want you to stay connected. Uh, again, take uh, this fee waiver code as well as the information from this page. Um, if you need to contact us, uh, we're also all over the website, um, but you can find each office's information on this page too. Um, Sasha, are you able to see the chat? Do we have any specific questions that we want to tackle before the tour video? Yeah, Greg, could you talk a little bit about Michael Graves and the application process? And uh, someone asked about the percentage of students admitted. And I know while we might not have that information, you can at least speak a little bit to the application piece. Yeah, so with the application, um, as Sasha mentioned, there's some uh, specific requirements for fine arts majors and Michael Graves College falls under that. So architectural studies is a bachelor's degree program. Then we also have our master's degree program in our sixth year of accreditation. We have two graphic designs and the only advertising focus within the state uh, that's a uh, concentration in graphic design and then interior and industrial design. When you apply, you apply generally, uh, you're selecting that major um, you can still be test optional, so you can still submit your high school transcript. You have to submit your official high school transcript, test scores, letters of recommendation, essay. We encourage all students to submit those. They're highly recommended. Um, even though we're test optional now, we want to see a more holistic application. And then the portfolio piece is the additional piece. Um, that is through something called Slide Room. It's a electronic portal that you'll upload your work. And I don't want you to be hung up on the word portfolio. I know that could be an intimidating word to use, but we're not looking for a professional portfolio. We wanna help you develop a professional portfolio. So what that means is we wanna see your best work. Um, it doesn't have to be related to the major that you're applying to. We just wanna see what kind of creativity level that you have uh, on the website too. If you type in portfolio review in the little eyeglass on our homepage, You'll be able to go to Michael Graves page and see uh, a little bit more detail as to what they're looking for, but it could be anything. It could be photography, it could be pencil, painting, sculpting, any work that you've done throughout your high school career, whether it's from in school work or out of school on your own time. Um, so it's around 10 pieces of your best work, uh, give or take. They don't want to see more than really like 12 pieces, um, but you just really want to put together some of your best pieces of work and upload them onto Slideroom, and then that's reviewed by the department. Any other questions? 
Um, the only other thing I was going to add was somebody had asked about the merit scholarships. As Greg mentioned, um, those will be awarded automatically. Um, but you can also feel free to send us updated information as you get it. So you could apply this afternoon. You're going to finish up with us. You're going to see the tour video. You've got to learn from Annie and you're ready and you're ready to come to, fall, to Kane. Um, but you won't have senior year grades just yet. We still encourage you to apply early. Um, once you have uh, your first parking period grades, if you get a GPA bump or say you have the opportunity to take an SAT or ACT and you wanna add that to your application, you can send those to us even after you've been admitted. We will reevaluate you for merit-based scholarships. And when we can, we will be happy to bump you up accordingly. Um, so we still encourage you to apply early, but we can reevaluate you um, throughout the process. And just to piggyback off of that, that's where our rolling emissions piece really shines because even though we have an early action deadline that can get you an, a quicker decision at 500 bucks, you can still submit things as Sasha mentioned all the way through the end of your senior year. So we can still review you uh, in June, July for new merit scholarships. If you get your final transcripts or the SAT finally opens up, you want to throw one in there, you can definitely do that too. So um, just keep that in mind as you're applying to schools. All right, so I'm gonna jump into the tour video so that you can actually see what all three of us have been talking about in our beautiful campus. Welcome to Kane University, one of the most diverse college campuses in America. Kane Cougars have been climbing higher since 1855 and we're now the fourth largest public university in New Jersey. There are more than 16,000 of us who learn, live, and grow on our campuses. Here in Union, New Jersey, just minutes from Manhattan. Down the shore, the Cane Ocean, Tom's River. Nestled in the treetops of Northwest New Jersey, at Cane Skylands. On your schedule with Cane Online. And halfway around the world at Winter Cane University in China. Our campus is also just a 10 minute shuttle from North Liberty International Airport. Other colleges talk about a global education. We walk the walk literally every day. And we're here to show you around so you can see for yourself what a world-class education looks like. We'll start at Kane Hall, the historic gateway to our main campus. Built in 1915, it used to be a stable and a library, but now it is home to the president's office. Here, you'll also find the Office of Admissions. You can chat with one of our admissions counselors, attend an information session, and take a tour with one of our fabulous student ambassadors. It's time to choose from more than 50 undergraduate and 60 graduate programs and start learning in our state-of-the-art classrooms and labs. Here in the Green Lane Academic Building, architecture and design students create and collaborate in an open design suite modeled after Google Studios with inspiring views of campus at New York City. Stop by Barnes & Noble on the first floor to get your books and school spirit gear or grab a coffee before class. Here in our North Avenue Academic Building, you'll find our award-winning computer science, physical therapy, and other health programs. It has state-of-the-art classrooms, breakout spaces, an outdoor terrace, and a high-tech theater, where inspiring speakers like Martin Luther King III have shared their wisdom in Kane's distinguished lecture series. Here you'll also find an obon pan for when you need a snack or a caffeine boost. Across Morris Avenue is the STEM Building home to the New Jersey Center for Science, Technology, and Mathematics. It has 133,000 square feet of classrooms and research laboratories. And through our Research First initiative, our honor STEM students get to work on cutting edge research early in their freshman year and even earn an internship with ILSA, the Institute for Life Science Entrepreneurship, a nonprofit research incubator right in the building. At the center of campus, you'll find the Nancy Thompson Learning Commons, an inviting place for students from every discipline to work and study, with digital resources and group spaces designed to support new ways of learning. The Learning Commons also offers tutoring and writing support to help ensure your success. The brand new Liberty Hall Academic Center and Museum, New Jersey's only public center for history, recently opened as the new home to the university's history department. The museum was built in 1772 and has many rare artifacts that date all the way back to revolutionary times. It was originally the home of New Jersey's first governor, William Livingston, and is the ancestral home of the Kane family. And by the way, our university is named after the Kane family and it's pronounced Kane, not Keen, but Kane. Hines Hall will be our best building yet. Opening in 2020, it'll house all of Kane's undergraduate business programs. 
It will feature smart classrooms, study lounges, a Bloomberg room with business intelligence software, a virtual library in the sky, and a rooftop deck. Over the bridge on East Campus, students at Nathan Wise Graduate College get hands-on training in psychology, occupational therapy, and speech-language pathology clinics that help them in their career and serve our local community. Your college experience is about more than academics. It's about learning to be confident, independent, and truly yourself. Here you'll join classmates from across the region, country, and world who live and make their home at Kane every year. Our campus has been named one of the safest in America, and the student health services staff work hard to ensure that your physical and mental health is a priority. Our res halls let you choose what's best for you, with single and double rooms and suites. Cougar Hall is the newest and home to more than 380 first-year students. Hungry? Campus is packed with dining options for whatever you crave. And with not one, but three spots to get Starbucks on campus, you're never more than a moment away from your next coffee break. Stop by our Sino Steakhouse and Tavern, which offers student discounts for those special occasions, like when your family comes to visit. You can always stop by at the Martin Student Center, the heart of campus. Here you can find the game room, computer lab, dining hall, and you can join more than 160 student groups and Greek organizations. It's easy to stay active at Kane, with tons of recreational facilities around campus and in the Angola gym. Harwood Arena is the place to show off your school spirit and cheer on your classmates. Alumni Stadium has been the centerpiece of outdoor athletics since the 1960s. Pack the stands and cheer on your D3 Kane University Cougars. Kane also has a vital arts and culture scene with art galleries and performing spaces that showcase the work of everyone from internationally acclaimed artists and Broadway legends to student performers and the stars of tomorrow. And with a train station right on campus, you're only 30 minutes away from the culture capital of the world, New York City. Students intern at top companies in New York City, New Jersey, and abroad. In fact, while you're here, we guarantee we'll help you find an internship that fits your career path. And it's where you can learn about our study abroad program at our campus in Windsor, China, or 30 other locations around the world. Here's the best part. Studying and living at our China campus costs the same as it does here at Kane USA. So you can climb higher across the world while staying on budget. CAS is also home to the One Stop Service Center to help you with registration and financial aid. Kane is the most affordable comprehensive university in New Jersey, which helps our graduates have 32% less debt than the national average. We're dedicated to helping our students graduate on time and on budget. So whether you're studying theater in Union, education at Ocean, bio at Skylands, from home with Kane Online, or business in China, we all have the same goal. So, um, again, remember to stay connected with us. Our staff here is here to help you throughout this entire application process. We want to make sure that everything is seamless. You have uh, any questions about not only Kane or the, our application process, but college admissions in general, please feel free to reach out to us and we'll always be able to assist. Um, are there any new questions that we want to voice out to answer? Um, I think we've got most of them answered in the chat. Um, if maybe you just want to talk a little bit more um, about like uh, what's required and not required with the application, but what we recommend. Sure. So um, as we mentioned that this year we are going test optional. So the main requirement is the application itself, which Again, feel free to take a screenshot of this page or take a picture of the promo code so that waves the Kane website application. Um, then the official high school transcript for incoming freshmen. That's the main requirement. Um, SATs, ACTs, letters of recommendation, essays, those are highly recommended pieces, but they are considered optional. So what that means is if you just submit your transcript and you don't get the additional documents into us, uh, we try to make a, a decision as quick as possible to benefit you. Um, so we would go ahead and make a decision without those items. If you want them to be reviewed, then you want to try to send them as quick as you can with the application. And as Sasha and I mentioned, 
Um, just because we make a decision on your application doesn't mean we can't revisit it. So if you do have new items that you didn't get to us and you want us to be able to review them, please still send them so we can review the application again for any merit scholarships, um, any, any appeals or anything like that for the application itself. Um, we have rolling admission through the entire academic year and summer. So we're still talking to students about enrolling with us June and July. Obviously earlier the better, just so you know where you stand with us um, and, and financial aid and scholarships are all there for you. Um, but yeah, so we're, we're pretty open to talking with you throughout this entire cycle. Any other questions about anything? Majors, student life, residence life, applications. One thing I'll add that I know was mentioned in the chat and was answered, um, with the exception of our honor STEM college and our design and performance majors, when you're admitted to Kane, um, you are admitted to Kane as a student. So you're not applying directly for say a biology major versus a business major. Again, unless it's those, those few um, our honor STEM college or our design and performance programs, um, you're just applying broadly to Kane University. So you don't have to apply separately to be into the business school. Your admission is to Kane um, and that's into whichever major you choose, uh, but it is pretty easy to switch majors um, if that's something you're interested in. And even if you were interested in one of those other majors, um, like some of the design programs, if there's space in them, um, you can apply uh, to those majors once you are an enrolled Kane student or audition for those programs as well. Yeah, so, and uh, just to add to that, um, no matter what major you apply to, regardless if they're uh, with a special requirement or not, your first semester, you're considered an intended major, uh, an intended student to that major. So you wouldn't be able to be a declared into any major until you establish a GPA with us. And that's usually after your first semester. So when you're applying, you're selecting a major that you want to be in for that second semester, really. And then once you establish the GPA, then you're in the, you're, you're technically declared in that program. Anything else that we want to add? I have a little bit of time cover any questions that you may have. And like Greg said, don't forget, stay in touch with us. Um, you know, Greg and I both mentioned the, the territories that we oversee, uh, but we're happy to put you in touch with your direct admissions counselor if it is not one of us. Um, we're here to help you through all the steps. If you have questions, um, you know, even after you've been admitted, if you're not sure what to do next, um, we're there to help. Uh, we got a question about majors. Do you want to talk about double majors and minors real quick? Sure. So um, you can pretty much double major in any major that we offer besides those selective programs. So um, if you wanted to do, for instance, like criminal justice and psychology, you can definitely do that. Um, some majors like education are kind of considered double majors because you have a content focus and the educational certification. Um, and then areas with like design, architecture, theater, and music, they're um, not really recommended to double major and because there's a lot of hourly time required for those programs, but you can minor in them. So minors, you can, ma you can pretty much minor in any major that we offer. It's kind of like an additional concentration of 16 credits that will be added to your program. Um, but yeah, so if you can't double major, you can definitely minor in it. And all of our programs are offer, have offers in mind. And we have some additional um, programs that are not offered as majors, but are offered as minors, such as certain language courses as well. And we have in our um, health and human services um, school, uh, there's a lot of unique majors and minors. Um, we have a minor that allows you to become a certified yoga teacher. Um, and that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what major you are. You don't need to be a, you know, ex an exercise science major to pick that up. Um, right. So there's definitely a lot of unique minors um, that you can, you can pick up. Greg, do you want to talk about some of the virtual events that we're doing on campus? Somebody had a question about events on campus. Yeah. So Right now we're operating still on a, a virtual basis. Um, we have the opportunity to do uh, open houses virtually. We just had one in September. Our next one is going to be, Sasha, I believe November 1st, it's a Sunday. Um, that's our next open house. 
And then we have coming up um, throughout October and uh, November, we have major Mondays, which are going to be great ways for you to interact with any of the majors you're considering. Uh, those are on our website right now, um, kane.edu slash major dash Monday. And you'll be able to see certain programs are highlighted. So you can listen and meet the dean, meet prospective students and current students that are interested in that major. Uh, people like myself and Sasha will be there as well uh, from the admissions side. But you'll be able to get a little bit more in depth uh, breakdown of the curriculum and what to expect as a student and hear from alumni. Uh, that it's a great day to, uh, to interact with. And we also are going to be having other events such as uh, instant decision days virtually as we plan them out. They'll be offered throughout the remainder of the fall and into the spring semester. And those are, all those events will be on our website too. Awesome. I think that's it. All right. Well, thank you everyone for joining. Um, again, if you have any questions for us, please feel free to reach out to us. Um, we are here to assist you with anything that you have thinking about college, Kane, or the app or our application process. Make sure you take a picture of the promo code, use it to save you, yourself $75. Um, and we hope to hear from you and see you in the fall. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. I hope everyone can hear me. Forgive me, there's an announcement going on. Um, once again, a wonderful, wonderful program by Kane. I continue to be impressed with them. So thank you so much. Uh, there will be a quick survey after you close this window for those of you with us. Please sign up for more sessions at njacac.org um, and attend additional fairs. And a recording will be available of this event um, in case you wanna share it with anyone else. Once again, reach out to Kane for more information. Um, a wonderful job. Thank you all so much for being with us. We appreciate you very much and have a wonderful day. Thank you.